My girlfriend is going to be super proud of me for vlogging in this shirt because today was opening day and the Red Sox beat the Yankees. Just the little things that make her smile. Happy wife, happy life. Remember that, guys. Anyway, so today is April 1st and it is the first day of VEDA. I tried to do VEDA back in August and I made it all the way to like day 25 and it just, uh, life got too hectic for me and I wasn't able to finish the last six days, which sucks because I made it to day 25. So this time around, I'm not going to label these videos as VEDA 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, anything like that. I'm just going to do my best to vlog every day in April, just kind of document the things that happen as they do, and if I make it, hooray, and if I don't, I won't beat myself up, but beat myself up for it as much as I did back in August. Um, so because it's April 1st, I figured, of course, I'd vlog about April Fool's Day. Now, I don't know how many of you... Um, participate and pranking each other things like that but I want to hear what you did on April Fool's Day if you pranked your kids or if you pranked your spouse or your partner I want to know about it I love these stories this morning Liz was laying in the bed and she was like I work from home but I was sitting in the same room like on the chair with my laptop and as I had things running in the background I was watching some April Fool's videos and cracking up and she turns over she's like what are you doing I'm like I'm just watching April Fool's videos that it was just so funny <laughs> and I love laughing at not at other people's expense but at, at harmless pranks I think that's cute and funny so the only prank that I got to pull on anyone today was on Bella this morning I woke her up and I told her um no let me start over Bella she takes dance. Uh, she dances five days a week, actually four days a week, but she takes seven classes. And the least favorite class of hers is tap. Now she has to take it because if she wants to be a part of the competition team in her dance school, she has to have tap. But she doesn't really love it. So because it's her least favorite, I thought that was the perfect prank to pull on her. A couple months back, they brought in, they flew in um, a ballet teacher from, I want to say Spain. I think it was Spain. It was either Spain or France. And they flew her in to teach the girls some techniques, <clears throat> some new techniques. And I told her this morning that she had to pack her tap shoes, even though she doesn't normally have class on Mondays. I told her uh, she had to pack her tap shoes and that she was going straight to dance school after school. She had to walk there. Every single day this week, all the students were going to be taking tap. Instead of all their other classes, they just had to take tap all week. And she was like, why? And I said, I don't know, Bella. That's what the teacher emailed me. They sent an email out. They said you had to do tap all week. It's probably like, you know, I was thinking in my head, I didn't have to say this, but I was going to tell her that it's probably like when they brought the ballet teacher in. But I didn't get to that point. I couldn't hold it at that point. When she asked me why, I just said, because it's April Fool's Day. And she said, oh, man, you got me so good. But that was the only thing that I got to do. And it was a harmless prank. I wanted to do something more fun. Like, one of the ones that I looked up was making caramel onions instead of caramel apples. Caramel onions. That would have been so nasty to have somebody bite into a caramel apple and it's really an onion. Ew. I posted the link to the video on my Facebook and I was just cracking up. Anyway, so that was my harmless prank. I don't want to make these videos too long, so I'm going to cut it off right here. Hopefully this is the start of a nice 30-day adventure. Bye, guys.